Are you ready for my top five cool flower tips? Here we go. Whether you dream of being a flower farmer or you just want to grow flowers for your kitchen table, I'm Lisa Mason Ziegler, and I grew cut flowers commercially for nearly 25 years. Now, as an author and online course instructor, I hope to inspire the next generation of growers. I'm glad you're here. Let's jump in. Hey friends, this is Lisa Mason Ziegler from the Gardener's Workshop. Today, I'm here with my top five tips for cool flower success. Tip number one, know your frost date. Identify not only your hardiness zone, but also your historic average first and last frost dates. Your hardiness zone can only tell you which flowers you can plant in the fall to winter over. To figure out when you need to plant in both spring and fall, you need to know your historic average first and last frost dates. There are several websites that provide this info by zip code. You can find them with a Google search or you can contact your local county extension agent for that information. Tip number two, make your beds early. Prepare your growing beds ahead of time. On the day that you're ready to plant your cool flowers outside, often the conditions are not ideal. Perhaps the ground is frozen or the soil is too wet to be worked. You don't want to miss your direct sowing window or your ideal transplanting date because your garden beds are not prepared. Once prepared, you can cover a bed with a silage tarp until you're ready to plant. Tip number three, learn how flower seeds want to be sown. If growing from seed, identify how the flowers you're growing prefer to be started direct sown in the garden, or started indoors for transplants. Some, like poppies, really are best started with seeds sown directly in the garden. Some, like snapdragons, really are best started indoors as transplants. Knowing the best seed sowing method for each flower tells you when and where you need to plant them, so you can create a schedule. We offer that info for every seed we sell. Check out our website product pages for details on the Gardener's Workshop. Tip number four, give each flower what it needs to be happy. Give your cool flower seeds what they need to germinate and your cool flower seedlings what they need to thrive. Recognize that different varieties of cool flowers will have different environmental requirements for germination and that the seedlings will need grow lights, regular watering, and fertilization before planting out. There is so much to learn here. My book, Cool Flowers, is a great place to start. It comes with a free book study video series. There are also tons of free cool flower resources on my website, The Gardener's Workshop. Tip number five, you don't have to start all the seeds yourself. Realize that you don't have to grow all of your cool flowers from seed yourself. Is your home, patio, or greenhouse too hot to start cool flowers indoors in the fall? Are you too busy cutting summer flowers to think about starting cool flowers? In some cases, purchasing plugs, which are just small transplants, may be the best option for you and your situation. There are plant brokers who sell plugs wholesale to large growers, but now there are also some retail greenhouses and online stores that offer plugs in smaller quantities for home gardeners and those with limited growing space. A Google search should help you find both options. So, those are my top five tips for cool flower success. I hope they inspired you. Remember to click subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of future flower farming videos we post. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Ciao.